गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ गोकुल दास पब्लिक स्कूल खरगोन नाउ टुडे टॉपिक इज नंबर सिस्टम एंड दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड कॉमन फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास वन टू एट एंड सो ऑन बिकॉज दिस इज द नंबर सिस्टम वी आर स्टडिंग द नंबर फ्रॉम नर्सरी ऑन वर्ड बट मोस्ट ऑफ यू डोंट नो वॉट इज द नंबर so the first question my first question is what is the meaning of the number anyone number a student tell you know that in uh, nursery classes or uh, lkg classes when your study is going start at that time your teachers your parents say that what is this and simply you reply this is a for apple then what is this anar ka a uh, then what is this this is one why is this only a for apple not the other why not we can uh, why not we can say b because this is the common things which are accepted by us similarly so commonly we can say that these are the symbols these are the symbols this is also a symbol this is a pi this is also a symbol alpha but this things have a special value so the first definition will be the same the question is what do you mean by the numbers numbers are the symbols numbers are the symbols which are used in our daily life for different purposes numbers are the symbols which are in, which are used in our daily life for different purposes so i hope you are you are clear about the numbers and there are different types of numbers which we are going to study now so second thing is types of the numbers types of numbers first of all i am going to explain you by a picture uh, you are very familiar with the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 and and so on so these numbers are known as the natural number so the first thing is natural number number starting from 1 2 3 4 and there is no end such type of numbers are called a natural number if we include if we include zero in this group of number then our group increase and this group is known as the whole number so numbers with zero Zero, one, two, three. Or we can say that number starting from zero and end up to infinite are known as the whole numbers. Whole means complete, full. Because without zero, it is not possible to make the uh, numbers up to infinite. Next group is uh, suppose uh, we are on zero and we move two step left side, down side. Then it will be minus two. So this minus two will belong to which category? Natural number or whole number? No, not any one of the group. So for this number, we will take another group that is known as the integer. Integers are represented by the z. Z. Why? Why integers are represented by the z? Z means zehlon. Z. is a word z is taken from a german word zehla which means to count which means to count so integers included all positive numbers all negative number along with zero i said zero is a separate because zero is neither positive number nor negative number next group is rational numbers next group is rational number rational numbers are represented by the 
Q. So, what is the definition of the rational numbers? If we can represent any number in the form of P upon Q, if we represent any number in the form of P upon Q, where P and Q are the integers and Q is not equal to 0. Such type of group of numbers is called a rational number. So, students, we have some numbers which cannot be represented in the form of P by Q. That group of number is known as the irrational number. Which can be represented by the irrational number. Here we can say that I is such a number which cannot be represented in the form of P by Q. So pi is the irrational number. Okay. So the group of rational number and irrational numbers are known as the real number. These all numbers are known as the real numbers. Dear students, once again I am repeating, first group is the natural number, which is taught you in up to class 5th, which is taught you up to class Definitely you are familiar with the zero from the beginning of your study, but in generally we can say that natural numbers are used up to class 5th. So this is up to class 5th, then whole number in class 6th, then integer in class 7th, then rational number in class 8th, then irrational number in class 9th, and real number in class 10th. This is the pattern made by the CBSC and CRT books, which is taken in your textbook, mass textbook. Up uh, to class 5th, you are familiar with the only natural number. In class 6, you study whole numbers. In class 7, you study integers. Integers means all negative numbers, all positive numbers along with 0. In class 8, you study rational numbers. Rational numbers means the numbers which can be represented in the form of P by Q. And there is another group which cannot be represented in the form of P by Q is known as the irrational number and finally real number. After this, you will also be familiar with the imaginary number that is also known as by the complex number in next class. So this is the number system up to class 10. This is the number system up to class 10. Uh, students, you may ask one question, sir. We have also uh, study about uh, even number, odd number, prime number, composite number. What is that? Okay, your question is very good. And we can say that this is the groups of number. And from this group, some numbers have special relations. So that numbers are defined different. So in types of numbers, we will write natural number, whole number, integer, rational number, irrational number. And this full group is known as the real number. Okay. And from this group, we will take some numbers which are taken, uh, which are given differently. So, I am also going to explain you that number. The first uh, thing is even number. Even numbers means the number which are divisible by 2. Even numbers means the number which are divisible by 2. We can also say that the numbers which have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 or its unit place or one's place are known as the even number. So on unit place if you have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 such type of numbers are known as the even numbers. Next thing after even 
one we have odd numbers. Just opposite of the one. If numbers are not divisible by two, they are known as the odd numbers. And its unit place has unit place has digits one, three, five, seven, and nine. The numbers which have one, three, five, seven, and nine on its unit place are known as the odd numbers. The number which have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 on its unit place are known as the even number. Next thing, third thing, prime numbers. Prime numbers. What do you mean by the prime numbers? This is a very important numbers. And this question is asked again and again in different classes. And students are always confused. So please pay attention on it. Numbers. Suppose I have a number 12. 12 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. 12 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. How many factors? These are the factors. These are the factors. So how many factors it has? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 12 has 6 factors. But what about 5? 5 is divisible by only 1 and 5. It has only 2 factors. So it is a prime number. And 12 is a composite number. So number which have only 2 factors. 1 and itself are called the prime number. And the number which have more than two factors are called the composite number. So, prime numbers which have only two factors. One and itself. One and the number itself are known as the prime number. Next, uh, composite number. Next thing is composite number. So, just opposite of prime, composite number. Numbers which have more than Numbers which have more than two uh, We can write the examples. Examples we can take 4, 6, 12, etc. So these are some groups. Uh, students have more groups, uh, but they are not so useful. So I am not explaining, just I am giving you the name. Uh, the name is twin prime. Twin prime. The prime numbers whose difference is 2 are known as the twin prime. Next, uh, uh, prime triplet. Prime triplet. The prime numbers, the three prime numbers, three consecutive prime numbers whose difference is 2 are known as the prime triplet. And one more important thing that is co prime. Co prime. This is important, so I am explaining you about the co prime numbers. Okay, first I am giving you the example 12 and 13. Are they have any common factor? The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. The factors of 13 are 1 and 13 only. Which factor is common? Only one is common. Only one is common. So such numbers are known as the co-prime numbers. If two numbers have only one common factor, that is 1. 
If two numbers have only one common factor, that is one. In such a case, they are known as the co-prime. And listen, students, co-prime number does not have any relation with the prime number. Okay. Look at the board. Fourteen and fifteen. Both are composite number. Composite number means they have more than two factors. Uh, the factors of fourteen are. One, two, seven, and fourteen. Four factors. It means it is a composite number. The factors of fifteen are one, three, five, and fifteen. It has four factors, so it is also a composite number. Which factors are common in these two? Only one. Fourteen, fifteen are not prime number, but this group of fourteen and fifteen is. Co-prime numbers. So co-prime numbers mean the numbers which have only one common factor, that is one. Okay. So once again, I am going to revise types of numbers. Types of numbers. Natural number, whole number, integer, rational number, irrational number. This group is known as the real number. Then subgroup, subgroup of these numbers. First, even numbers. Second, odd number. Third, prime numbers. Fourth, composite number. Fifth, co-prime number. I hope you remember all these things. Thank you, students.